my first guest today on the YouTube channel for my first episode is none other than Todd Dammit Kearns. All right, Todd. I love, I love the none other. <laughs> there, could be, there could be another Todd Dammit Kearns. We don't know that. You know, we all have these stories and what this kind of reminds me about is, you know, so I've been researching these Seattle bands, you know, and, and primarily this band called Freddie Poole. It's like talking about Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster when you bring it up in terms of like, you know, when you meet somebody, because I have the same conversations about um, people who saw Jeff Buckley before he died or any of those kind of things that were kind of, oh, you were there, you know, kind of thing. A lot of those Credit Pool things existed in cassette tapes with no song titles on the thing. Like, here, listen to this. You know, you don't even right. know what, and you're like, what the hell is this? This is amazing. And you're, and, and then eventually, of course, it's on CDs. What I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that, uh, that Punchy, the guitar player from Credit Pool, uh, you know, he was pretty tight with Duff. I mean, obviously being a Seattle band. Right, yeah. And I know that Duff was heavily involved in, you know, punk rock and, uh, you know, more of the grungier type sound before, you know, hooking up with Guns N' Roses. So I heard that uh, Punchy, the guitar player from Pretty Pool, and Duff, you know, loaded up the truck and, you know, moved to Beverly. <laughs> they literally moved to Beverly, yeah. I think Punchy was... Uh, he was enrolled in uh, MIT or, or I think whatever, he went to GIT MIT or, or one of those. Like, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he went down. He went down to do that, but um, I don't know. I heard that it, it didn't work out for him. Like, I'm not sure why. Really, he he didn't fit into the LA scene. It just right. And I heard that once things started taking off, you know, that he he packed his bags and he you know he got an offer to go back and you know, jump into this project that was, you know, part of that, that grunge scene, which he, sure, which his buddies in Seattle said, this is, this is the place you, you got to be. And even the things that they were in prior to that, especially Punchy's earlier punk rock stuff, um, like bands like Personality Crisis from Winnipeg and all that kind of stuff. Those guys seem to cross paths with that whole scene a lot more. Cause when Slash, or when uh, Duff talks about going into Vancouver, at 14 years old and playing like the Smiling Buddha and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, That's yeah, the kind yeah. of stuff those guys were doing. <laughs> the only connection I have is, you know, is a bizarre, it feels like when you talk about the Loch Ness Monster, you see those, or that Bigfoot photo, you know, this thing, and it's like, is a random photo of, of Punchy at, I want to say, they, people been, uh, at the time, the girl I was seeing at the time who has the photo was like, I think it's from the, the Roxy or I think it's from the whiskey, but it might be from Madam, Madam Wong's. Or well, hey, what's the chance that you could send me that picture of, uh, of punchy? Because I, uh, I'd love I just, to be able to put I it ran, on the website. I randomly um, spoke to her the other day and, and I will chase that down because she, <laughs> you know, it's like funny because people like, you know, they, they carry those things. Anybody who, 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 you know, is into rock music, they carry those kind of things with a great deal of pride. You know, it'd be, it'd be how it's kind of whispered about at the party. That girl has a picture of Punchy on stage, <laughs> pre credit pool. And you're like, really? It's like, I've got a picture of, of an, I've got a picture that no one's ever seen of Sid Vicious. You know, yeah, exactly, like, exactly. It's like, you know, I think we'll get to the bottom of this. You know, we're starting to get some- I'm excited. You know, get get some, some you know, actual, you know, evidence, which is awesome. You know, the photograph you've got is just, you know, one more page out of the book that we can, we can, you know, cross an X and go, okay, there's this, you know? At the time it was Mother Love Bone, Credit Pool. Those were the two names that were being, you know, circulated out of Seattle. I wasn't as aware of Malfunction until after the fact, but those two bands, and we all know what happened with Mother Love Bone. They went on to be one of the biggest bands on the planet. So the fact that the other one, I'm like, well, now I need to know.